Hello and welcome to game number 23 of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. We're here on the uh, December 30th, the last day of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. We're gearing up for the Donovan Dons and the Haytai Indians, geared up for the Consolation Championship. Uh, commentators for this game, myself, Tyler Wagner. To my left is Ed Gargas with New Wave Communications. And also on camera for this game is Kim Stokes. Ed's good to uh, do a game with you. We're finally here on the final day. We're going to, this is trophy day. This Absolutely. This is the trophy day of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. We've got uh, Haytai and Donovan, last year's uh, championship game. But this year we're moving, we're uh, on the other side of the bracket. We're on the consolation side, and they're going to play for the consolation title this year. Why don't you uh, point out to uh, how uh, each team got here in the consolation championship? Okay, well, uh, Haytai got here by uh, first night. They lost to uh, Puxico. Many considered an upset. Uh, then they beat East Prairie, and then uh, ultimately in the Pemiscot County showdown yesterday, uh, beating South Pem. Donovan, uh, slight upset, some might say, against Richland on the opening day. But then they came back with very strong performance against uh, Greenville the next day on day two. And then um, yesterday, a uh, good performance against Mal Malden put them here against Haytai. Like you said, it's a repeat of last year's championship game, just the other side of the bracket for the consolation this year. So uh, both teams kind of maybe considered in a rebuilding. Uh, Coach Taylor and the Indians, they had uh, some personnel issues. I believe they had they lost three players. Uh, Donovan, uh, in the last two years, they've graduated three All-State players. Uh, last year, uh, this you know, they lost uh, the twins, Charles and Chandler Wilson. So uh, still Struggling a little bit to find their identity a little bit. Grainer and Davis have really stepped up and played strong for the Indians, or excuse me, for the Dons. Uh, and then uh, Pressberry, Williams, a uh, good solid balance uh, there for the Indians, as well as uh, Luster showing some really great performances, as well as uh, their number 45, Dorian West, is putting together a great little tournament as well. Yeah, we, uh, we actually saw Donovan really start to get a rhythm yesterday uh, in their uh, semifinal game of the consolation bracket. They really started to, you know, they struggled shooting on early, and uh, they come out yesterday and started, you know, making some cuts to the basket, getting easier shots and getting more into a rhythm, and uh, actually looked uh, looked pretty well yep. yesterday. So we, and we're just about set here for the starting lineups. And the introductions for the Donovan Dons first. Donovan coached by Jason Andrews and Corey Russell. Now starting number one, six, six foot one sophomore, Taylor Smith. Number 12, six foot one junior, Mitch Grainer. Number 21, six foot senior, Logan Rush. Number 42, six foot one junior, Gavin Wilfong. And six foot two junior, number 45, Greg Davis. And the introductions for the Haytai Indians. Number two, a 510 junior, Keenan Williams. Number five, a six foot two senior, Andrew Luster. Number 15, a six foot two senior, Denzel Presbury. Number 32, a six foot six junior, Craig Rogers. And number 45, six foot two junior, Dorian West. Hey, Ty is coached by Philip Taylor and Bart Chance. And we'd like to let you know that this game, number 23 of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament, between Haytown and Donovan is brought to you by Three Rivers Community College and 162nd State Representative, Dr. Terry Swinger. And we're set for tip off here. It looks like Davis for Donovan and West for Haytown to jump it up. Tip up goes to Haytai. Keenan Williams will bring the ball up.
Ball down to, tries to get the ball to Luster thrown away. Rogers is smiling big there. I think he acknowledges he missed that call a little bit there. And Haytai coming with a 2-2-1 two -two full court press. Grainer with the ball, trapped in half court, taken away by Williams. He'll push it in, shot up, no good. Rebound, Pressbury. Look, so Haytai wants to come out and press on the, from the get-go and not allow Donovan to get into their rhythm. Yeah, it turned out well on that. They got a steal, go another way, and Pressbury to go to the line to shoot two. First shot up, no good for Presbury. Second shot up is no good. Rebound, Davis. Over to Grainer, and he'll bring the ball down. Pass down. Pass down, Still taken by, by West. West. Williams with the ball. Goes in the corner. Rogers brings it out. Williams looks down to Luster, gives it down to him. Goes on the baseline, shot up. And uh, travel on the play, turns it over to the Dons. Coach Taylor has pointed out he really likes to try to get Luster involved early. Luster is one of those players that the more active he is, the more productive he is. And so uh, trying to feed him a couple of times already this game. Hey, Ty, sags back into a man-to-man. -man. Davis with the ball. Grainer with the ball. Kicks it out to Davis. He drives center. Kicks it out to Rush. Davis over to Smith. He puts up a shot. Three up, no good. Good rebound there by uh, Wilfong. Rush with the ball again. Drives the lane. Kicks it down to Wilfong. He puts it up again. Good ball handling there by the Dons. Ends over to Luster. Down to West. Pressbury. Or Pressbury, that's right. Back to Williams. Can't get it to go. Rebound Davis. Steal by Luster. Pressbury puts a shot up. No good. Rebound Davis, puts it, uh, pushes it up to Grainer. He's going to bring it up the right side with a fake. Shot up, dishes it out to Davis for three. Shot up, no good. Rebound Rogers. And gives it up to Williams, and Williams travels. One of those cases of uh, anticipating what you're going to do before you're actually able to do. Uh, Williams was already looking up court, looking to see what he wanted to do with the ball and not making sure he secured it. And number 35, six foot one sophomore, Darnell, uh, Darnell Clay into the game for Presbury. And uh, Abbott in for Luster. Abbott's a lot of energy. Yeah, he sure does. Another one of those five foot eight guys that likes to get inside the paint and bang it in with the big guys. Smith with the ball. Looks like Hay ties in his zone here. Grainer for three, good. Donovan in a man-to-man -man set. Well, out to Clay, up to Williams. Rogers with the ball, taken away. Smith goes for the ball on the uh, sideline. He's gonna stay with Hayti. Unable to handle it. Good hands there by Smith, though. Demonte Abbott with the ball. Five foot eight sophomore. West with the ball. He drives, gives it up to Abbott. Shot up. No good. Rebound Williams, he's going to drive the paint. Shot up, no good. Rebound Davis, he gives it up to Grainer. 
Pushing up the rush. Rainer drives in. Skip pass to Smith. Back out to Davis. Kick out to Grainer, puts it up and good for another three for Grainer. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Hayti's gonna take a timeout. Grainer's got a good looking shot early in the game. I guess not a timeout. Pressbury back in the game for the Indians. Four minutes to go in this first quarter. Donovan on top of Hayti, eight to zero. Shot up by Rogers. He's fouled on the shot. Foul will be on Gavin Wilfong, his first. Taken out of bounds by Hayti. Williams on the right side, goes left. Pass down to Abbott, shot up, no good, fouled on the play. Foul will be on Taylor Smith, his first. Abbott will go to the line to shoot two. First shot up, no good. Second shot up, no good. Rebound Davis. Swing pass to Davis, he puts a shot up in the paint, blocked by Presbury. Abbott comes with it the other way. Puts it up in the lane, up, no good. Out of bounds going to the Dons. So it looks like Hayta's having a hard time here early generating offense. Yes, with three and a half minutes to go in the first, they're still yet to score. A lot of drives to the basket and a lot of things off the glass and off the rim, but nothing through the hoop at the moment. Donald will inbound. Grainer will bring it up for the Dons. Is it up to Smith? Left side to Davis. He looks down to Grainer. Smith picks the ball up and travels, looking for the, the pass. Give it up to the Indians. Williams will bring it up for Hayti. Donovan in a 2-1-2 set. Rogers drives baseline. Wilfong draws the charge. That's Craig Rogers' first foul. Team foul number one for the Indians. Hey, Ty bringing some full court pressure here. Over to Davis up the left side. He'll look to drive. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Williams. He'll push it up. Goes up for the shot. Up, no good. Rebound Smith. Batted away. And we've got a tie up in the paint here. Possession will go to Donovan. So Hayti's still unable to score here and with two and a half minutes remaining in the first. Donovan on top still. 8-0. Grainer pushes it up. And thrown away. Great by anticipation Wilfong. by Pressbury. Will with the steal, throws it away. Pressbury tries to push it up the floor and lose it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Donovans. Or the Donovan Dons. There we go. Rush inbounds. Smith looks over to Grainer. The rush in the corner. Davis looks to Grainer in the corner for another three. Shot up, no good. Rebound West. Presbury will push it up the right side. 
Skip pass to Williams. Let's skip pass to Presbury. He'll put up the three. Up and good. And with two minutes to go in the first quarter, the Indians finally get on the scoreboard. Good looking shot by Pressbury. Sure was, he had a head in the face too. Full court pressure by Hayti. Pushes it up to Davis, he'll drive left, shot up, and good. Williams pushes the ball up in the paint. Up, no good. Taken away by Grainer. He pushes it up to Rush. And it looks like he uh, stepped on the sideline. Stepped on the sideline. It'll turn it over to Hayti. Into the game for the Dons. Number 30, Frankie Cape, six foot one sophomore. Rogers goes out of the game. Luster back in for the Indians. West out front with the ball. Coming off on a minute remaining in the first quarter. Donovan on top, 10-3. Presbury drives right, back left. Drives the paint, shot up, and good. Did a great job getting some separation there as he drove the lane. Grainer pushing the ball down for the Donovans, out to Davis. Back out with the rush. Shot up by Grainer is good. Well, Grainer's getting it done. He's got eight points in the quarter. Coming up on 25 seconds remaining. Down Donovan on top, 12-5. Presbury with the ball. He drives the lane, tries to kick it out to Abbott, throwing away. And with seven seconds to go, Donovan will look to get the last shot here in the first quarter. Inbound to Grainer. Five seconds left. Gets a pick from Davis. With a pick and roll down to Davis. Shot up, no good. Rebound Abbott. And time runs out here at the end of the first quarter of the Constellation Championship of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. Donovan on top of Hayti. 12 to 5. We'll take a break and be back with your second quarter. You're watching high school basketball on YHC TV. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. And welcome back. We're about to get the second quarter started here at the Consolation Championship of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. What did you think of the first quarter, Ed? Not a lot, whole lot of scoring early. No, uh, Donovan did a pretty good job of running their offense. They were able to free up Grainer. He got a couple of good looks outside of the arc as well as inside. Uh, Davis making himself known on the, re on the as far as rebounding and getting a few points too. And uh, Hayti basically, I guess what I saw there, they, they were able to push the ball up the court, but they just haven't quite found their shot underneath. A lot of balls off the glass, a lot of balls off the rim. They just can't get it to fall. Yeah, Hayti's only got five points in the game, all from Denzel Presbury. Hey, Tyler inbound for the second half, or second quarter. Donovan in a man-to-man -man set. Looks down to Luster, taken away by Rush. He'll push it up the right side. Kicks out to Davis. He drives left, shot up, good by Davis. Abbott will bring it out to Luster. Luster drives right. Pushed on the drive by, looks like... Uh, Logan Rush, number Logan, 21. Logan Rush. His first personal foul. 
team foul number four. Frankie Cape into the game for a rush. He tie inbounds on the baseline. Out to Abbott. Luster over to Abbott. Dribbles left, looks out to Williams. He puts up the three. Shot up, no good. Rebound Smith. He'll push it up the left side. Kicks it out to Davis. He drives right. Swing pass to Grainer. He puts up a three, no good. And out of bounds to the Indians. Hey, tie with the ball. Over to Luster. West with the ball. Over to Pressbury. Back out to Abbott. Over to Luster. Swing pass to Williams. Pass deflected, taken away by Brant Grainer up to Smith. Davis, the big guy, follows the shot. And with a timeout, with six minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the half, Donovan on top, 16 to five over the Haiti Indians. Well, it seems like uh, Hayti was trying to pass the ball around the, the perimeter, maybe look for something inside, but it seems like everything's clogged up in the middle right now. Uh, Donovan looks pretty content to kind of sag back a little bit and let Hayti maybe take a few shots out there. And well, I think is going to have to prove to Donovan they're going to make a few outside shots before Donovan's going to want to come away from the paint there. So, uh, yeah, the, the whole first quarter, they just try to keep pressing inside and inside, and Donovan's clogging the lanes and not giving Haytow the shots they want. So uh, somebody's going to step up and start start making some shots from the outside and have that, that zone pull out a little bit. It looks like Donovan's sticking with a man-to-man, -man, but it's a bit of a sagging man-to-man, -man, somewhat like a zone. Luster out with the ball. Over to West. Williams looks in, passes back out to Abbott. Over to Luster in the corner, he puts up a three. Up, no good. Rebound, Presbury, he puts a shot up, no good. Fouled on the play. Looks like the foul's gonna be on number three, Cody S.A. Foul is on Greg Davis, his first, team fifth. Shot up by Presbury. That's why those guys good. down there on the court real close to the action are calling those things instead of us sitting way up here. <laughs> Second shot up from Presbury is good. Grain will bring it up the right side. Crosses over left. Over to Cape. Over to Grainer, he'll push it in. Lose control of it. Williams will pick it up. Push it up to Luster, he loses control. Davis takes it away. He'll push it up the right side. Stutter step, goes in the lane, shot up, no good. Followed up by Grainer, and good. Basket's good, plus the foul. He'll go to line to shoot one. Foul is on Dorian West, his first, team second. Grainer's shot is up and good. Completes the three-point play. Raspberry at the top of the key. Over to West. Abbott over to Williams. Pass into the paint to Luster. Kicks it back out to Williams. Williams drives left into the paint. Shot up. No good. Rebound West. No, nope, Presbury. Presbury. Shot up is good. Also fouled on the play, so he'll go for a three-point play.
Foul is on Cody Assay, six foot one junior, number three, his first. Team foul number six for the Dons. Shot up for Presbury is good to complete the three point play. And with five minutes remaining in the first half, Donovan on top of the Hayta Indians, 19 to 10. Pass into Capes, fakes it, and stutter steps on the fake, turns it over to the Hayta Indians. Had a nice look there, a nice fake, but he stuttered on the fake and uh, lost an opportunity for an easy two. Turns it over to the Indians. Williams looks into West, knocked away. Tipped off of West, going to the Dons. Grainer will bring it up for the Dons. And to Smith, he'll get it knocked away. Grainer looks down, taken away by Presbury. He'll push it up. Pass off to Abbott, he drives, shot up, deflected. Rebound Presbury, he's gonna put up a shot in the paint. Up and good. So Presbury's got all of the points for uh, Haytow right now. They've uh, got so 12 here trying to crawl back quarter. into the game. So, uh, Hey, Ty really needs to really uh, find, a, find a scheme on offense. Uh, I'm not sure Denzel can carry uh, Denzel Presbury can carry him the whole game here. He's got 12, and uh, we've got a timeout here, a 30-second quick timeout with three minutes and 57 seconds left in the half. Donovan on top of Hey, Ty, 19-12. is game number 23 of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament is brought to you by Three Rivers Community College and 162nd state representative, Dr. Terry Swinger. In the meantime, Donovan against the Haytai Press. Smith looks to pass and walks on the play, turns it over to the Haytai Indians. Williams with the ball, over to Abbott. Over to Luster, back up to Presbury. He goes right, walks on the play, turns it over to the Dons. Looks like the players today got a case of the stutters. <laughs> <laughs> and Grainer will bring it up for the Dons. We'll go over to Rush, down to Wilfong. Hey, Ty, uh, looks like a 1-2-2 two, two zone set. Swift, uh, Smith will put up the three and good. It's one way to break a scoring drought. Ball over to Abbott. Up to West. He'll go over to Presbury. In the corner to Luster. Back out to Presbury. West with the ball in the corner to Luster. Looks for Abbott. Back out to Luster. Presbury drives, spins, kicks it out to Williams. Looks for the three, puts it up, and good. So that's the second Indian to score for <laughs> Hayta. Will Fong looks to drive. A blocking foul on the drive on Dorian West be his second personal foul. Team foul number three for the Indians. Donovan will take the ball on the base, take the ball out on the baseline. Ball in and bound to Davis. He dribbles left in the paint, shot up, and good. But yeah, Paul passed up the head to Williams, almost taken away. Regains. 
Rogers looks over to Luster. He drives in the paint. Shot up. No and good. A charge. Uh, charge on the play. See, that's Andrew Luster's first personal. And I believe that was uh, Rush on the plate taking the charge. Grainer in the corner for three. Shot up and good. That's Grainer's third three of the day. So Donovan's off to a good start shooting the ball from downtown. Ball trying to get worked into Rogers. Uh, foul on the pass. Foul will be on number 42. That is Gavin Wolfong, his second personal foul. That's the 17th foul for the Don, so Haytai will go to the line to shoot two. Craig Rogers will shoot, shoot a one on one, actually. First shot up, no good. Rebound Luster. Shot up, deflected away, taken away by Donovan. Ball pushed ahead to Davis. He kicks it out to Smith for three. Up and no good. Rogers will push it up to Abbott. Abbott up with a shot up, no good. Taken away by Donovan, pushes it up to head to Davis. Deflected away. Regain. Shot up, deflected away, gets it back. Shot up and fouled on the play. That's Cody Assay up with the shot. Foul is on number 15, Denzel Presbury, his first foul. Cody Assay to the line to shoot two. Shot up ain't good for a say. Second shot up is no good. Rebound Rogers. Kenny Williams put up the three up, no good. Rebound Abbott. Gonna kick it out to Presbury. Drive in by Rogers, kicks it out to Luster. He'll put up the three and good. That's Luster's first points of the game. And with just under a minute to go, Donovan's on top of the Haytai Indians, 28-18. Haytai picking up the pressure, stole by Luster. He'll drive into the paint, up and in. So with 30 seconds remaining, we have an eight point game. Donovan advantage. Donovan looks to kill some clock. Maybe take the last second of the half, or last shot of the half. Deflected away by Luster. Stole up to Williams up and in. And with three seconds to go, Donovan's gonna push it up. A heave from half court. No good by Grainer. So that brings it into our first half. Haytime makes a run here at the end of the quarter. Second half score, or first half score. Donovan Dons, 28. The Haytai Indians, 22. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back with some stats and more commentary with Ed Gargas. You're watching High School Basketball on YHC TV. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Welcome back to our halftime coverage of the 23rd game of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. We're here with uh, the consolation championship between the Haytai Indians, the Donovan Dons, a rematch of last year's championship of the 51st Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. They're matching up here in the consolation championship this year. First half score, Donovan Dons on top of the Haytai Indians, 28-22. And some uh, quick stats here. 
Uh, high scores for the Hayta Indians is Daniel Presbury with 12 points and a half, followed by Andrew Luster with five and Kenan Williams with five. Uh, the only scores for the Indians in the first first half, only three players. And uh, for the Donovan Dons, lead man is Mitch Grainer with 14, uh, followed by Greg Davis with eight and Taylor Smith with three. So uh, Donovan got out to a, a pretty sizable lead, 15, 16 points. And then right before the half, Haytime picked up the pressure, knocked down some shots, and we got a six-point game here at halftime, Ed. Looks to be the makings of an exciting second half. Uh, as, as we talked at the the break of the, between the first and second quarter, Haytai took a little while finding their shot. Uh, not exactly how Coach Taylor wanted to start this game, I'm sure, but uh, like you said, they got a nice little run there at the end of the quarter, into the half, and so uh, see what happens here in the second half. Yeah, Haytai, they got off to a sluggish start, really didn't get any offense generated other than Denzel Presbury. He scored their first, I think, 12 points, and uh, then uh, started following up with Keenan Williams and Andrew Luster, but uh, Basically, Donovan's starting to sag back in the man-to-man, -man, trying to defend the post. Dorian West, he's had a pretty pretty nice tournament down low. He's getting a lot of uh, points in between the blocks there and uh, also offensive putbacks. So they're kind of sagging back and see if they're willing to take that shot out there. They've put up, they put up some uh, threes, and uh, they've, they've made a few. They've, they've made right, a few right there at the end of the half, close this to a six-point game. So uh, Donovan might actually have to come out and start defending yep. that shot, and then you never know. They'll start opening it, things up for Haytai, start dumping it down to West and there in the paint and starting to drive the paint a little easier. I think it's the makings of a pretty pretty competitive second half. I do too. I agree. I agree. It's one thing I think Coach Taylor is happy to see is his team start finding their shot, but they find it right before they have to take a break. So uh, we'll see what happens when they come back after this 10-minute halt. Sure thing, and uh, – We'd like to let you know that uh, Ed Gargas with New Wave Communications alongside us again with myself, Tyler Wagner, and also Kim Hampton doing camera again for us. And uh, we'd like to let you know that this game's brought to you by Three Rivers Community College and 162nd State Representative, Dr. Terry Swinger. We'll be back with your uh, second half right after this. You're watching high school basketball on your source for high school basketball, YHC TV. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Well, we had a interesting first half. Donna, Donovan jumped out on a good lead, got up to about 15, 16 points, and right before the half, Haytide jumps up, hits a few shots, forces some turnovers, comes down and scores, and uh, we've got a six-point game at 28 to 22, Donovan's advantage. So uh, looks like uh, probably the coaches, both uh, Coach Taylor and Andrews, are going to uh, come up with some adjustments based on those last few uh, series there in the first half. So uh, Donovan's probably going to look for you know, uh, hate Ty to come out with pressure like they did there at the end of the second half or first half, and uh, and uh, hate Ty's probably want to look to push the ball and get those easy scores just like they did at the end of the first half. I agree. Also, I think Coach Taylor's going to look for a way to find to get uh, Kenyon West on the scoring board. He he's been producing double digit dip numbers first three games of this tournament, and to be shut out the first half. Uh, Kind of a difference in this game, also. Yeah, Dorian West. He's he's had a pretty pretty good tournament. He's uh, he's gotten a lot of offensive rebounds and putbacks, and they've dumped it down to him. And he's he's got good size, standing at six two down there, and he's got a lot of length. So uh, he's he's really had an advantage in this tournament. And we're about to get the second half started here. Donovan will inbound. Hey, Ty, coming up with a strong man to man. Pass down to Grainer, kicks out to Davis on the baseline, up, no good. Rebound West. Haytow push it up. Rogers with the ball, he drives baseline, and a foul on the drive. So they're going to be on number 21, Logan Rush. Be his second personal foul. Neither team really in foul trouble in the first half. No, nobody with uh, three fouls, so uh, shouldn't be a concern here in the second half early on. Luster with the ball, up to Presbury. 
Over to Williams, he'll put up the three. Up, no good. Rebound will fall. Hey, Ty applying the full, full court pressure. And the foul will be called on Andrew Luster on the reach in. Be a second personal foul. Taylor Smith bring it up for the Dons. Pass out to Grainer. He'll put up the three. Up, no good. Rims out. Presbury takes it away. He'll push it up the left side. Rogers out to Luster. Pass down to Rogers. Knocked away by Smith. Hey, Ty retains possession. Williams stand bound for the Indians. Cut pass into Luster, up and in. Nice pass. It's a nice move there by Luster. He was faking like he was going out to uh, take the pass at the top of the key and cut back into the paint there and got the score. And uh, in the meantime, Grainer throws the ball away, turn it over to the Indians. Coach Andrews calls a quick timeout. And with six minutes and 36 seconds left in the third quarter, the Donovan lead is cut down to four. The Dons leading the Indians 28-24. Looks like Haytown's coming out with a little bit more energy here. They, it seems like they're wanting to push the ball up a little bit more and a little bit, they seem more active on the offensive end so far. And Haytown will open up on the Latter half of the timeout, they'll inbound the ball. Williams will push it up the right side, looks for a pick, goes around and picks up his dribble, looks underneath, kicks it back out to Rogers. Press Bray with the ball, he goes right, up to, out to Williams, back up to Rogers, he fakes, drives right. West looks into Williams. Loses the handle. Donovan comes away with it. Deflected away. And a tie-up. Possession to Haytai. Good presence there by Luster. It looked like Donovan was, was going to take away and go the other end, but deflected away by Luster. Williams looks over to Presbury. He'll drive right to the paint. Gives it up to Luster, and another tie up in the paint, and this possession will go over to the Dons. Rush will put it up, push it up for the Dons. Rush drives the middle, out to Davis. He'll drive left to the paint, shot up, no good. Rebound Luster. a foul on the play. I think this is going to be on Davis, number 45, his second. A tie with the ball. Williams will bring it up. Over to Presbury. Rogers at the top of the key, fakes. Rogers with it again. He drives. Back out. Presbury looks for the pick from Rogers over to Williams. Williams drives left. Goes in the paint. Shot up. No good. A foul on the drive. Like Wilfong may have got a hip into him there. That'll be Gavin Wilfong's third personal foul. Third team foul on the Dons. Hey, tight inbound on the baseline. Looks to the corner to Presbury. Shot up, no good. Rebound Grainer. He'll push it up the left side. Down to Davis. Davis in the corner, trap. Gets it out to Grainer. In the corner to Davis, knocked away by Hey, Ty. Don's re retained possession. Hey, 
In the corner, shot put up, no good. Rebound, Presbury. He'll Presbury did get a great job of a grid position there underneath the goal on Davis that time. Presbury looks underneath, goes baseline to Rogers. He'll kick it out to Williams. Thinks about the three, pulls it back out. Rogers drives baseline and stutters on the play. Stutter steps, walking violation over to the Dons. Frankie Cape into the game for the Dons, comes in for Taylor Smith. Pass in the corner to Grainer. Back out to Cape. Davis looks for Grainer. He fakes right, goes left, shot up. Good for Grainer. Nice looking shot there by Grainer. Williams to bring the ball down for the Indians. And with four minutes to go in the third quarter, Donovan up 30-24. Shot up by Rogers, no good. Taken away by Wilfong. Ball pushed up to Rush. Looks to Davis, puts up the shot in the paint, up no good. And they push in the back on Davis. Be his third personal foul. Team foul number four for the Dons. And uh, Darnell Clay into the game for Dorian West. Rogers with the ball to the left side, looks underneath. Nothing there, drives left. Puts a shot up, no good. Rebound Davis. He pushes it up the right side to Grainer. Gives it up to Cape, looking back to Grainer on the baseline. Looks underneath the Wilfong in, good. Nice look by Grainer. And a timeout for Haytow on the floor. We're with three minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. Donovan on top of Haytow, 32-24. You're watching your source for high school basketball, YHC TV. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. And we're back, back to resume action from uh, the Hate Tide timeout. Three minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. Donovan on top of Hate Tide, 32 to 24. Since halftime, it's been back and forth. We're still uh, having a six point spread as we did at halftime. Actually, that's an eight point spread. Yeah, it is, yep. That higher math, I back understand. To school, back to school for Tyler. <laughs> hey, Tyler, in the ball. Williams will bring it up. Drives left, gets out of Presbury. He'll drive to the left side on the baseline, puts up a shot on the right side, good, and the foul. Foul on number 30, Frankie Cape. It's a nice drive by Presbury there. Saw the opening on the baseline and with a reverse on the right side. Shot up is good to complete the three point play. Presbury with 15 in the game. And official timeout. Looks like we got a tape or something on the floor. On the floor. And 
And a hay tie, it looks like in a 1-2-2 uh, two, two set, or uh, some kind of zone setting, looks like a matchup set. Three-pointer up by Grainer, up no good. Rebound Abbott, he'll push it up the right side. Pulls up in the paint, up and good for Abbott. Hayton looking to push the ball off the misses from Donovan. Got a 32-29 lead for Donovan with coming up on two minutes remaining in the game. Pass down to Will, uh, Kate, put up, no good. Gets his own rebound, deflected away. Clay with, down with the rebound. I think that was deflected away by Luster. Presbury will push it up, back it out. Goes right off the pick. Over to Abbott. And a walk on the play. Turn it over to the Dons. Grainer bring it up for the Dons. Grainer with the ball, fakes right, goes left in the paint, puts up a shot, up no good. Rebound Presbury. And a foul on Grainer on the rebound. His second personal foul, team foul number six for the Dons. The minute and a half to go in the third quarter, three point lead by the Donovan Dons, 32-29. It's Williams to bring the ball down for the Indians. Williams drives left, puts up the shot, no good. Taken away by Grainer, pushes up to Smith. Cross court to Cape. Backs it out. Davis with a spin move, up in the, uh, puts a shot up in the paint, and good. Nice move there by Davis. Davis with 10 in the game. Pushes the lead to five, under a minute to play. Luster in the corner, looks for a three, not there. Abbott uses the screen, goes down to Clay on the pick and roll, shot up, no good. Rebound put up by Hayton, no good. Rebound by Clay, up and in, and the foul. Foul is on number 21, Logan Rush, his third. Darnell Clay will go to the line to attempt to complete the three-point play. Shot up is good for Clay. Coach Andrews calling for one shot with 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Ball over to Grainer. Kicks out, kicks, uh, kicks it out to Grainer. Coming up on 10 seconds here. Grainer with the ball, looks for the pick from Davis. Rolls to Davis in the paint, shot up, fake up, no good. And a foul on Davis on the rebound. Over the back. His fourth personal foul here with 2.6 seconds. That foul will put, uh, looks like a... Uh, Clay to the line to shoot a one and one. Well, that's tough. With two seconds remaining, Hay ties a full court away from their basket. A foul committed a full court away from their uh, their basket. They draw the foul and they're going to get a chance to tie this game up here at the end of the third quarter. Shot up, good by Clay. He'll get one more. Second shot, good up by Clay. 2.6 seconds remaining. Smith looks to down court. He's going to hold it for the end of the third quarter. And we've got it all tied up here at the end of the third quarter between the Haytai Indians and the Donovan Dons of the Consolation Championship, 34 to 34. You're watching high school basketball on YHC-TV. 
Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. And welcome back. We're gearing up for the fourth quarter of the Consolation Championship of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament between the Donovan Dons and the Haytai Indians. The Donovan Dons coming into the tournament as the 10th seed. And Haytai coming in as the fourth seed. A rematch of last year's championship game, meeting up this year on the other side of the bracket for the Consolation Championship. Haytai opens up the quarter with the ball. Luster looks into Williams, puts up the shot. No good. Fouled on the play. That's the ninth team foul of this half for the Donovan Dons. So Haytai may have an opportunity to shoot a lot of free throws this quarter. First shot up, no good for Williams. Foul is on number 12, Mitch Grainer, his third. And Haytai's in a double bonus from here on out. Next foul will be 10, so each foul from here on out for Haytai is two shots. Second shot up and good for Keenan Williams. Haytai with their first lead of the game. Yeah, that's what 10 I was seconds thinking. into the fourth quarter, 35 to 34. Swift the ball on the right side, looks down to Wilfong. In the paint to Cape. He puts a shot up off the glass and good. Good looking shot by Cape. Abbott out front with the ball. Looks over to Williams. Out to play, or Rogers. Over to Abbott. Back up to Rogers. He'll drive right, spin left, looks down to Good Clay, look. puts it up and in. Good look there, nice pass by Rogers. That's Clay's seventh point of the game. Haytai back on top of one. Will Fong drives, fouled on the play. That'll be on Darnell Clay. His first personal foul. Team foul number two for the Indians. Donovan to inbound. Hey, time a two-three set. Grainer in the three uh, in the corner for three is up and good. Nice shot by Grainer. That's his 19th point of the game. He's really come on strong for the Dons in this Constellation Championship. Williams with the ball. Left to Rogers. He'll drive right and gives it up to Abbott. Back door by Luster up nice and good. Nice pass. Great pass there by Rogers. Pass deflected away from Smith. Clay knocks it out. Re Donovan retains possession. And a timeout on the floor to Donovan. And uh, looks like we're gearing up for a pretty competitive fourth quarter here. We got a tie score with six minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the game of the Constellation Championship. Donovan Dons, 39. The Haytai Indians, 39. And we'd like to take a break and let you know that this game is brought to you by Three Rivers Community College and also 162nd State Representative, Missouri State Representative, Dr. Terry Swinger. And we'd like to thank all of you sponsors of this 52nd annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. And uh, for you folks out there, uh, please uh, drop by to these sponsors and give their thanks and appreciation for bringing this year's Christmas Tournament. We know all of you viewers look forward to this coverage every year and uh, the uh, all the other games that we bring on YHCTV. And uh, Ed, we uh, sure thank uh, New Wave Communications for uh, helping out with the tournament. You in here and doing a lot of games for us. It's been a lot of fun. Well, I enjoy doing it, and I'm glad uh, Bill and you guys let me help out. So uh, 
YAC is a valuable asset to New Wave Communications and a great partnership there. And so uh, we're glad to see them taking part in events like this. And we're about to resume action from the timeout. Donovan will inbound. Mitch Grant with the ball at the top of the key. Hey, Ty, a man to man set. Davis with the ball in the corner. Passes out to Cape. Grant at the top of the key. He looks left to Davis. Hey, Ty's working around the perimeter right now. Looking, uh, looks like they're looking for a cutter. Davis with the ball in the corner, fouled on the, the, the dribble. Foul will be on Pressbury, his second. Denzel Pressbury. Looks like uh, Donovan's looking to work the ball around the perimeter and look for the, the cutter in the paint to get an easy bucket here all early. Davis in the lane, puts up a fake shot up, no good foul on the play. Foul on Denzel Presbury once again, his third personal. Team foul number four for the Indians. Greg Davis to the line to shoot two. First shot up, no good for Davis. Second shot up and good for Davis. His 11th point of the game. Puts the Indians on, or the Dons on top with five and a half minutes to go. Rogers looks for a cutter taken away by Donovan. Davis is going to push it up for an easy two. Presbury will bring it up the left side. He crosses over. Knocked out of bounds off Presbury to the Dons. Looks like Presbury was looking to drive and didn't have an opening, and uh, the Dons apply the pressure and end up off Presbury, so it turns it over to the Dons with five minutes remaining. Rush drives into the paint, up and good in the paint. Logan Rush's first points of the game. Abbott works it over to Presbury. He looks underneath, nothing there, backs it out, back to Abbott. Over to Williams, he looks underneath, nothing there, back over to Abbott. Ball over to Rogers, he looks underneath for a back door to Abbott, it's there, shot up, no good, foul on the play. It looks like a foul on Logan Rush, number 21. His fourth. That'll send Abbott to the line to shoot two. First shot up and good for Abbott. Back into the game for the Dons is Taylor Smith and for Logan Rush. He'll take a seat with four fouls. Second shot up by Abbott is good. Grainer looks to bring it up for the Dons. Still up three points, coming up on four minutes remaining. Smith on the left side, drives in the paint, taken away by Presbury. He'll push it up the right side. Shot up and good in the paint for Presbury. Hey, Ty looking to apply some pressure, try to create some turnovers here. And a reach in on Kenyon Williams. His first personal foul, team foul number five for the Indians. Donovan on top with just under four minutes remaining, 44-43. Greener brings it up for the Dons. 
And the Dons are spreading things out right now, looking for a cutter. Looking to work away from the ball here on these possessions for an easy basket. Grainer with the ball, kicks it out to Davis. He drives the baseline, jump stop, fakes. And a walk. And another stutter step. Walking violation on Davis, turns it over to Haytai. With three and a half minutes to go in the game, still a one-point game in favor of the Dons, 44-43. As Presbury brings the ball down for the Indians. Goes right to Williams. He puts up a quick three up and in for Williams. Might be the best looking shot Williams has had all day. No better time to have it either. Will fall in the corner. He steps on the baseline, turns it over to Haytai. And Haytai with uh, a two point advantage here with just over three minutes to go. Three minutes and 11 seconds remaining in the quarter. Haytai on top of Donovan, 46 44. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back with fourth quarter action of the Consolation Championship of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. You're watching High School Basketball on YHC TV. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. And we're back, about to resume action from a timeout here in the Constellation Championship between the Haytai Indians and the Donovan Dons. We're with three minutes and 11 seconds remaining in the game. Haytai Indians on top of the Donovan Dons, 46-44. Donovan's led uh, the vast majority of this game. Haytai making a strong move here in the fourth quarter. Rogers with the ball, backs it out, drives left, goes down to Presbury, up and in for an easy two. Good ball movement there by the Indians. Great job underneath by Presbury. Gives the Indians the largest lead of the game with four, with 2.48 to go in the game. Long pass into Davis, up and in. And the foul. A nice pass there from Grainer. Absolutely. Good composure by Davis. That's a dangerous pass, a high pass over the middle like that because it's easy for the defender just to yes. get the attention and knock that away. But it uh, looks like the Haytai defenders were a little off guard. Enough time for Davis to gain control of the ball in the paint, put up a shot, make it, and get the foul. So he's going to go for the three-point play. Shot up and no good for Davis. Rebound goes to Haytai. And that foul was on number 32, Craig Rogers, his second. Presbury will bring it up. Still with a two-point advantage. Keenan drives left in the paint, puts up a runner. Good. Grainer. Brings it up the right side. Gets up to Davis. Hey, top line. Hard man to man pressure. Grainer with a cut. Kicks it back out for three. Up and good. Nice shot there by Logan Rush from the corner. So, with just over two minutes, or now two minutes to go in the game, Hey, Ty with one point lead. Ball over to Luster at the top of the key. He looks right to Abbott. Over to Rogers, looks underneath to Presbury, gets it down to him on the block. He spins left to the paint, up, no good. And a blocking foul on Grainer on the shot. That'll be his fourth personal foul. That'll send Denzel Presbury to the line to shoot two. Denzel Presbury been the main man for uh, Haytown this game with 19 points. Looks like uh, Rogers, Craig Rogers is going to go out of the game. Dorian West in for him. First shot up for Presbury. 
No good. Second shot on the way. No good. A little long. Rebound. Luster with a chance. Brainerd's going to pull it out. Let's get past the rush. He fakes left, goes right. Kicks out to Cape. He drives left. Pulls it back out, gives it up to Grainer. Donovan looks to set up an offense here with just under a minute and a half remaining. Hayti still on top by one. Ball over to Grainer. He's going to drive right. Back left. Gives up the rush. Looks left to Davis. He'll pull up for a three. Up, no good. Rebound Abbott. Not sure that's the shot Andrews, Coach Andrews wanted, but Davis had a good look, and he's shown he can make that shot. Williams will pull up for a three, no good. Rebound Davis. Coming up, we're uh, just under a minute under the in the fourth quarter. A kick out to Davis. Kicks it to Grainer. He fakes right, goes left, pull up jumper, and no good. Rebound Wilfong. Kicks it to Cape. He drives the lane. Shot up, no good. Rebound Davis. Shot up, foul. no good foul on the play. It looks like uh, on Dorian West. That'll be Dorian West's third foul. Send Greg Davis to the line to shoot two. With 38 seconds remaining. Hey, tie on top, 50-49. First shot up from Davis is good. Second shot up from Davis. No good. Rebound, Presbury. He goes high for the rebound. Tries to get it to Williams. Taken away by Grainer. Davis with the ball out front. Gives it out to Rush. And a timeout for the Donovan Dons. 28 seconds remaining in the game. And a tie score at 50 to 50 here in the Constellation Championship of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. Boy, Presbury went high up for that rebound. He got high and come down. It looks like he lost his footing. Tried to get it, uh, pass over to Keenan Williams. And uh, uh, Mitch Grainer takes it away. Gets it out to uh, Davis. They get a quick timeout. Looks like they're going to set up some for a last second shot here. Boy, this has really turned out to be somewhat of a uh, well, we consolation said it had. championship. We had a 16-point lead early for Donovan, and Hayti pushes it back at the end of the second quarter and into the third quarter and uh, re uh, gets their first lead, I believe, early on here in the fourth quarter. And uh, it's been a battle ever since. We're stuck at a tie here, 50 all. And Donovan's going to end the bound at center court. Frankie Cape to inbound. Hey, time probably going to apply some pressure here on the inbound. Try to get a steal. Inbound to Mitch Grainer in the backcourt. He brings it up. Davis out front with the ball up to Grainer with 15 seconds remaining. Grainer guarded by Williams. Now 10 seconds, goes right, looks for the pick and roll, not there. Grainer with a fadeaway shot, up no good, deflected away off Hayti, stays with Donovan with one second remaining. They tried to get the, the, the pick and roll, which they've done all tournament, it wasn't there. Grainer puts up the fadeaway shot, deflected off by Hayti. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout here on the floor with a second remaining in the, the Constellation Championship. We have a tie game. Donovan 50, hey, tie 50. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with one second remaining in the Constellation Championship. You're watching High School Basketball on YHC-TV.
Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. We have a tie score, 50 to 50, here with 1.1 seconds to be exact in the game. Don for an inbound on the baseline. It looks like they got just enough time to inbound, maybe take a quick dribble and a shot. And here we go. Looking in the baseline to Grainer. He puts up a three at the buzzer, no good. Well, it's a good look. Even had uh, Andrew Luster in his face, and boy, that was a tough shot. Fading in the corner, puts up the shot, just rims out. And we are set for overtime here in the Consolation Championship of the 52nd Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. Wow. Bonus Donovan basketball. Got, Donovan got a pretty good looking shot there, even though it was contested by Luster. Uh, they look for a screen over here underneath the basket for Davis. Wasn't there, so they look for Grainer, which has basically had the hot hand for Donovan in this game. Uh, Grainer's got 19 points on the game, so, I mean, if you're looking for a shot on the outside, you want to look for Grainer. He got an open look and uh, just rimmed out for the Dons. Real nice look. It looked like it was going in there for just a moment. And we're about to tip it off once again for the overtime session. Have a four minute overtime period. And for those who come out for the whole day of the final day of the annual Bloomfield Christmas tournament, they're gonna to get their money's worth. Going to have an extra period here, a four-minute period for the overtime period. Tip it off, Davis versus West on the tip-off. Tip goes to Hayti. Abbott will bring it up for the Indians. Ball over to West, or not West, but uh, Williams. He looks into West, passes over to Abbott. Donovan in a man-to-man -man set. Ball over to Abbott. Looks left over to Williams. Over to Abbott. Abbott fakes right, goes left in the paint. Shot up, no good. Rebound out to Luster. He looks for West underneath for an easy two. Well, that was a nice look by Luster. He kind of uh, deceived the defense there and just lobbed it over to West for an easy two. So Haytai's got the early advantage of the overtime period, 52 to 50, with three minutes remaining in this overtime period. Rush looks down to Davis. Davis goes in left, shot up, and good. Presbury over to Williams. He looks down to West. Not there, goes back out to Abbott. Looks like Haytow's really wanting to get the ball underneath for this overtime period. Abbott goes over to Williams on the left side. Spin move left, gets up in there, throws it out to West, West. out to Presbury for three. No good, off the right side. Davis pushes it up to a teammate, throws it off of a Haytow player. Presbury. Presbury in the corner, uh, out of bounds, and the Dons will keep possession. That was a pass up to Wilfong. Wilfong tries to save it, out of bounds off of Presbury. Don will inbound on the baseline. Pass to Davis in the corner. He's scrunched up against the line there. Gets it over to Grainer. Pass back out to Davis. And Hay ties in somewhat of a matchup zone set here. Uh, 
Pass over to Wilfong, knocked away by West, but is fouled on a play by West. That'll be his fourth personal foul. That'll send Gavin Wilfong, a six foot one junior, to the line to shoot two. First shot up, no good for Wilfong. Second shot up is good for Wilfong. And with just under two minutes, Donovan on top of Hayti, 53-52. Williams calls timeout in front of his bench. And with a minute 35 to go in the game in this overtime period, the Donovan Dons on top of the Haytai Indians, 53-52 in the Consolation Championship. You're watching your source for high school basketball on YHC TV. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. And we're back, about to inbound from the timeout. Hey, Ty has possession. Williams with the ball, drives right. Over to Abbott. Well, ball control is going to be real important here, Ed, in the last minute and a half. Don't want to turn over here. Presbury drives. Presbury back with the ball underneath, puts up a shot, no good. Fouled on the play. So that could be uh, Davis's fifth. That foul is on number 45, Greg Davis. He fouls out of the game, and that's huge. Uh, Davis has been Donovan's one of uh, Donovan's main men. He, he fouls out of the game with 18 points, sending Presbury to the line to shoot two. First shot up and good for Presbury. That's Presbury's 20th point, 20th point of the game. Second shot up is good. Hayti takes a one point lead. Hayti. Extending pressure here. Get, uh, Grainer puts it up the right side. Looks in the corner. Step back out on. Step and back on the side. Logan Rush, he tries to make a drive on the baseline. Steps on the sideline. Turning it over to the Indians. Indians with a one-point advantage with a minute five left in the Constellation Championship. Hayti looks to inbound. Inbounds to Presbury. Loses it out of bounds. Turns it over to the Dons. And just as I mentioned, ball control will be big. We've just had two quick turnovers by both teams here in just the uh, seconds after. Grainer comes along across the timeline with a minute remaining. Donovan still down to one. Smith drives in the paint, puts up a shot up, no good. Rebound Presbury. Gives it up to Williams. And a foul on Frankie Cape. That'll be his second personal foul. Team foul number nine. Or uh, is that, that's, that's actually team foul uh, 10, 10 plus for yes. Donovan. That'll send Williams to the line to shoot two. First shot up is no good for Williams. Shot up for Williams, second shot is good. Extends the lead to two with 48 seconds remaining. Haytai extending pressure. Grainer up the right side. Gets trapped, 
And a foul on the uh, the split there by Grainer. It's going to be on Denzel Presbury, his fourth personal. And with 40 seconds remaining, we'll, uh, Gavin Wilfong will go to the line to shoot a one and one. That's team foul number nine on Haytai. Haytai with a two-point advantage, 55-53. First shot up from Wolfong, no good. Rebound and Luster. Luster. And Williams will bring the ball up, coming up on 30 seconds to go. Donovan needs to apply some pressure. Ball out to Williams. 20 seconds remaining. Ball to Luster. And he'll step on the end line with 14 seconds remaining, giving the ball over to the Dons. And a timeout on the floor with 14 seconds remaining. Haytai on top, 55-53. We'll be back with the remaining 14 seconds of this overtime period of the Consolation Championship. And we're back with 14 seconds remaining. Donovan looks to inbound. They're down two points to the Haytai Indians, 55-53. Hey, Ty will sit back in half-court coverage. Grainer brings the ball up. And they're spread out. Grainer looks for a pick, goes left. Loses control. Tied up. Possession will stay with the Dons. But with 4.4 seconds to go, they'll take the ball out underneath. And it looks like we're in the same position as we were in the at, at the end of regulation, ball taken out of bounds on the baseline by the Donovan Dons. This time they're down two points. Have a little bit more time remaining, 4.4 seconds. Hey, Ty 55, Donovan 53. And actually they're going to move it out to the sideline right in front of Donovan's bench. And here we are with the inbounds for the Constellation Championship. Goes to Smith. He looks over to Grainer for three, blocked away, and a foul on the shot. A three-point shot by Grainer put up, and a foul on Andrew Luster. Actually, that was put up by Cape. Was that Cape? Number 30, Number yes. Number 30, Frankie Cape put up the three, and he got hacked on the arm on the three-point play by Andrew Luster. His third personal foul, that'll send Frankie Cape to the line to shoot three with 0.2 seconds remaining. That is 0.2 seconds, not two seconds, that is 0.2 seconds remaining. He'll have three shots. First one up is no good for Cape. He's got two shots remaining with Donovan down two. He'll need to hit these next two to tie this game. Second shot up from Cape is no good. With one shot remaining, Donovan down two. They uh, looks like Donovan might actually need to put some guys up on the line, but they're not. They're gonna let Cape shoot the shoot it up. No good. Time runs out, and that comes to an end to our consolation championship, where the Haytai Indians come away with it, 55 to 53. And what an end to this consolation championship of the 52nd annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. We'll be back in just a moment with more stats and commentary. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. And we're back with post-game coverage of the consolation game number 23 of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. We had a thrilling finish. Uh, Haytai comes out on top of uh, the Donovan Dons, 55 to 53 in overtime, which, uh, Donovan had a chance to come away with the win with three seconds, uh, with a three shots 
on a foul three-point attempt at the end of the game with just under a second. Frankie Cape misses the last three shots, so uh, Haytai comes away with a, a second straight championship, last year with the overall championship and this year with the consolation championship. And some quick stats uh, for Haytai. The leading scorer was uh, Denzel Presbury with 21, followed by Kenan Williams with 12, and Andrew Luster with nine, and also uh, Darnell Clay with seven. And for the Donovan Dons, lead man was Mitch Grainer with 19 points, Greg Davis with 18, and followed up by Logan Rush with five, and also Gavin Wilfong with five. So uh, we had a big thriller here to, to kick off the last day of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament, yes. the Consolation Championship. Who knew it would go to an overtime period after Donovan pushed it ahead, and Haytai comes back, gets their first lead of the game in the fourth quarter, and we go to an overtime period, and they get it done in the final final second of uh, final seconds of the Constellation Championship in the overtime yeah. period. So, yeah, thrilling game for everybody. Uh, congratulations to the Haytai Indians. Uh, tough loss there for the Donovan Dons, but they'll learn from it. Yeah, uh, Haytai comes in uh, as the fourth seed. Lose a couple guys, and they come away 3-1 and one in the tournament with the Constellation Championship. So uh, Coach Taylor's got to be pretty, pretty proud to, you know, lose a few guys and still come away with a, a championship, yes. the Constellation Championship. So uh, you know, Donovan had a chance, uh, couldn't convert it there at the end. But uh, they played a pretty well of a game here most of the game. And uh, it just come down to the end. Uh, a few turnovers here and there uh, cost them a few possessions. And... Uh, just didn't work out for him, but we had a whale of a game to kick off this last uh, game of the tournament. And uh, that'll wrap up our game number 23 of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. I'm Tyler Wagner, alongside me, uh, Ed Gorgas of New Wave Communications. And behind the camera, Kim Stokes, we thank you for uh, watching this uh, whale of a game between the Haytai Indians and Donovan Dons. Final score, 55-53 Haytai. And uh, stay tuned for more action to come from YHC TV. Coaches Interviews brought to you by Charlie Flanagan, Edward Jones Financial Advisor in Dexter, and Missouri State Representative Rob Mayer of the 25th District, and Missouri Southern Healthcare located in Dexter. Hi everybody, I'm Charlie Flanagan with Edward Jones Investments, and I'm, I'm here with Phil Taylor, who is the head coach of the Haytai Indians, and they just won the cha uh, Constellation Championship. Hey coach, uh, it's kind of tough to keep you out of the winner's uh, circle, isn't it? Ah, uh, well, I... I don't know about that. Just well, you won the tournament kids. last year, this year, Constellation champion. Uh, just, you know, hardworking kids. I, that's all it is. My kids work hard. They, they try to execute, and, and to end up on the top side is awesome. <laughs> hey, awesome. this winning stuff could become a habit. Yeah, I hope so, but <laughs> I, I don't have any control over that. I yeah. just, my I XO, go. <laughs> well, real close game. You win in overtime. Was this kind of the way you thought the game might go? I knew it would be a close game. Uh, with Donovan, they're going to play hard. They got great shooters. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, it was just like last year. I yeah. mean, it come down to the end and a, and a last shot. And uh, I tell you, we make it fun if nothing else. You know, <laughs> it's fun for the crowd. Well, uh, you know, we're real happy for you. And uh, you know, there's only going to be one team out of this whole tournament that's going to have better record than you. Uh, that's correct. Uh, um, and that's what I try to explain to the kids. They're like, "Well, it's consolation." Guys, it's four games and we're three and one. That's pretty good. That, uh, that's so, exactly right. You know, and, and then they're like, you know, after they win, yeah, we are three and one. <laughs> okay. So it, it, it's, I, I'm just excited for the guys. You know, they're, they're, they enjoy it. Yeah, a lot excited. of teams that tra trade places with oh, you right without now. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Wish you well the rest of the season. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coaches Interviews brought to you by Charlie Flanagan, Edward Jones Financial Advisor in Dexter and Missouri State Representative Rob Mayer of the 25th District and Missouri Southern Healthcare located in Dexter. Hi, I'm Charlie Flanagan and I, now I'm back with uh, Jason Andrews, head basketball coach of the Donovan Dons and uh, they just came up uh, second place of the Constellation Bracket. Congratulations coach on a good tournament. Thank you. Uh, uh, is this kind of the way you thought the game might go? Well, I, not really. I thought it'd be a, kind of an upbeat and up-paced game but they were flat. We we had jumped on them right off the bat, and and uh, right before halftime, we had about a 12, 13 point lead, and let them right back in the game, and that really boosted their confidence. And they just the rest of the game, they took it at us, and we kind of stood around and watched. Yeah. Now, uh, do, uh, kind of the mo of Donovan has always been great defense and pretty good shooters. Well, we uh, we defended well at times today or tonight. We uh, 
we, we didn't rebound. You know, that's a fundamental that you have to do. If you got to allow, you know, Haytai is really not a great shooting team, and they've got to put it on the floor to get baskets. And we were able to really stop their penetration, but mm -hmm. when they would shoot, we wouldn't get a rebound, and now they're two feet from the rim, and they're putting it in the hole. So yes. you have to rebound. We didn't do that. It's a lot easier to make a two-foot shot than a 22-foot shot. Yeah. Um, game came down, or it goes into overtime, and it comes down to uh, some free throws at the end. Kind of talk us through that. Well, we missed free throws throughout the whole game. And uh, what puzzles me of this whole deal, we haven't shot them well in about four games, but these guys are capable of hitting free throws. Their shots look right. We shoot tons of them. We shoot them under pressure in practice. And uh, it's all in their head right now. But uh, like I was telling the guys, you know, shooting is contagious, whether it's free throws or whatever. If you have your leaders step up and knock them down, everybody else just follows. And, you know, our leaders, and we talked about it with them, they're, they're having a hard time getting free throws down right now, and it's affecting the rest of our guys. Yeah. Well, you know, this is tough coming in after a, a, a real close loss, overtime loss. Uh, but you're two and two. You played four games. Kids got a lot of experience, sure. and it'll help you down the stretch the rest of the season. You bet. I, you know, I'm disappointed. And we're disappointed that we didn't come away with a victory. But I'm proud of our kids. You know, uh, I was talking with my assistant on the way over here, and I told him that, you know, if you had told me the first week of practice that we would have been playing in the finals of the consolation. I would have been jumping up and down, especially to play them in overtime. So I'm really proud of our kids, and, and we're just going to improve and uh, keep doing things right, and hopefully by the end of the season we'll be pretty salty. I, I bet you will be. Congratulations on Thank a good you. tournament. Good luck the rest of the season.